Bro, that is nasty. Eat it. I'm not eating this. Eat it. it tastes like. You already shit. ate it. I'm not eating eat this. It. You eat it. Eat it. No, you eat it. Ew. Please. Mm. Eat I don't it. want this, bro. You already ate it. Dude, I'm not playing eat with you. Breath. Bro, I just set it down. Ew. How is it? You look beautiful. Oh my goodness. What would you rate it? Ten out of ten. I actually hate peppermint things. Like, if you throw a peppermint in my mouth, I literally punch you in the face, bro. So what is up, boys? Welcome back to the channel. It is actually freezing out here. I probably shouldn't stay out here long, but I wanted some lighting because the lighting in my house is so bad, bro. And I like the natural lighting. It looks really, really good. Today, we have a tricep workout planned. I don't think I've brought you guys through a tricep video ever, so that should be really, really interesting. At the end of the video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a sit down slash like explanation. And you guys press the video for the title. You guys probably know what the sit down is going to be about. So yeah, I do plan on doing that at the end of the video. So if you guys press the video for that reason, don't worry, I will be talking about it. Also, I finally got my rogue plates in the mail. It came like yesterday. My next video will have deadlifts in it, I'm pretty sure. So you guys will see them then. I did get a chance to try them out for like 30 minutes and they're absolutely incredible. It's like a worlds of a difference. It's literally so much better than the normal gym plates. I can't believe I use them for that long to be honest so yeah it is officially time for an upgrade all right boys so it is a monday we are at the springfield location uh yo it's actually like really really busy here today um we're gonna try to get a tricep workout in uh we'll probably get like half it filmed or so and then what you guys have all been waiting for the mk677 like sit down so that's gonna be after this uh yeah we're gonna get into it right now all right boys so to start off we're gonna do some like dumbbell exercises for my shoulder it's so Learning, bro. It's actually ridiculous, but uh, I'm gonna use just like five or ten pound like dumbbells do some like laterals just to warm up the shoulder We're gonna be doing like tricep pushes and stuff. Uh, so that's gonna be using shoulder. So let's get into that boys so I don't even know exactly what this is really doing but it feels good good on my shoulders and if I'm gonna be doing tricep exercises all my shoulders to be pretty warmed up and it feels good and I look sick so alright so our first exercise is gonna be like tricep push downs with like one of these rope things we're gonna spread them out this direction um, I need to bring this up uh, but we're just gonna go super heavy we're gonna go to like 100 120 and do like a set of eight and then I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna like bend over a little more and then get like the head of the tricep for like a little super set and we're gonna do that for like probably like a set of 10 or 12. Alright boys, so real quick, I want to show you guys, I have these really bad like sweat marks on my right arm and it's literally only my right arm and it's from like my straps. Like when I deadlift, I have the straps on, right? And then the straps are super sweaty and it makes like these rashes on my arm and it literally sucks because I can't wear wrist straps. So I want to wear wrist straps right now, but I literally can't doing these tricep pushdowns because it irritates it and it makes it worse.
All right, boys, so for the sake of this video, I'm gonna switch up the exercises quite frequently. I'm gonna do, bro, shit wasn't even on. But I'm gonna switch up the exercises quite frequently. I just did a few sets of that. And then we're gonna move to like this tricep push down thing. It's like a little machine. It's actually really cool. I can go pretty heavy on it, so. Struggle, what the fuck I was gonna say. One thing I do like to do though is like I bring this uh, little machine with me. It's like a um, what the fuck you call this massage gun, and uh, I like to put it on whatever area I'm working uh, for like one to two minutes every like few sets, um, and it makes it like less tight because I get a lot of blood really quickly into the muscles. It's like when you use this, it kind of breaks shit up, it makes it a lot easier. So we're gonna get into this tricep machine, and uh, yeah. Try this shit. That's easy. What the fuck? <laughs> you see what I'm saying, though? <laughs> So we're done with that exercise. We're gonna go upstairs because it's like a lot brighter and there's probably less people as well And it's not as loud. It's loud as hell down there uh, We're gonna do some like overhead dumbbell shit and then we're gonna superset it with some like dips on like a bench press or something like that All right, what is up boys? We are finally done with that workout. I don't think I've ever done a tricep workout on this page before. It is a very, very successful tricep workout. It ended up being around two hours, which is actually really, really long. I'm gonna end up doing some cardio as well. This gym's music is a lot louder than the other gym, so I might be filming at the other gym from now on, to be honest with you. But after I do my cardio, I'm gonna head back home and I'm gonna start filming the MK677 uh, video. It's gonna be basically a sit down video. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how I felt on it, exactly how long I ran it and side effects as well. The only reason I'm deciding to make this sit down video is because a lot of my comment sections are like, how did you feel on MK677? 
how long did you run it, what are the side effects, etc. And instead of answering each individual DM, I just thought it'd be a way better idea to just answer it in a full video. And I think you guys will learn a lot of valuable information so you don't have to do as much research. So I'm gonna do my cardio and I will see you guys at the house. But as you guys know, I literally do not have enough plates to fit on my barbell. And since I am training for 900 pounds, I go up to 900 pounds like pretty frequently, like 855. A75 and all that weight. So what I had to do was order a bunch of calibrated rogue plates and I've already gotten two pairs in the mail But I was waiting on two more and it literally just came ten minutes ago but Yeah, I'm gonna open this package for you guys and then we're gonna get into the sit down All right, what is going on guys? We finally got the package in the mail. These are two blue rogue calibrated plates um, I already got two in the mail. I opened those off camera They're sitting in my gym right now and all I was waiting on was these two. So yeah, I'm gonna open this for you guys It looks like they already kind of like ripped the shit open as you guys can see it's like so ripped open It just came like that which is really unfortunate, but it makes it easy to rip All right, that was a lot easier than I thought to be honest for some reason They feel so much heavier than normal gym plates and I think it's literally just because it's super compressed It's like a skinnier plate, but here it is. It's actually kind of heavy for being this skinny. Yeah, it's really nice It's kind of scuffed up, but it'll definitely work. There's not much to open honestly all right, what is up boys? So I went inside honestly because it was super super windy and I didn't want the mic to get all messed up But yo, what you guys have all been asking for I've literally gotten so many comments and DMs about this question All right, so MK677 man, where do I start? So at this point I've done two whole like cycles of it I'm basically gonna start like how I started taking it and why I started taking it in the first place So after I hit 800 pounds on the deadlift um shortly after I don't remember exact time frames of like when I started taking it But shortly after I hit 800 pounds I decided I kind of wanted to get a little stronger during my bulk because I knew soon I wanted to hit nine plates and then 900 pounds in the future and I was like early 19 years old so I really wanted to hit 900 pounds or nine plates before I turned 20 years old and I hit 855 already I hit 875 for a block pull now all that is left is 900 pounds so but yeah man I really wanted to take something in order to get stronger during my bulk so I was kind of watching some videos doing my own research and I found that MK677 is not a full-on steroid but it's not natural either and it's not even a SARM either I think it's classified as a growth hormone secretagogue which I'm pretty sure raises your insulin which can make you stronger uh, make you gain more muscle and it also raises your ghrelin so it makes you a lot more hungry your ghrelin are receptors that tells you if you're hungry or not which are one of the side effects but i will get into the side effects in a little bit later but yeah man i wanted to take something that would make me stronger during my bulk and really optimize my bulk in the best way possible and i didn't want to take steroids and i didn't want to take like any natural supplements so after i did my rounds of turk uh you know i decided to take MK677. So I started to talk with like Derek for more plates, more dates because he is like my, you know, my boss man for Gorilla Mind. So I talked to him, I talked to Greg Doucette, and Derek told me that a good starting spot would be around 25 milligrams for eight weeks. So I ended up finding some MK online. And it literally just comes in like a liquid form with like a little pipette that you put in water or just put it straight in your mouth. So I bought like two of those, man, and I started taking one milliliter, which was 25 milligrams. That's what the whole serving said on the bottle, so that's what I took every single day for eight weeks. And yeah, man, I was excited, you know, because I was natural. I think I was taking Turcasterone, and I wasn't taking very much either. So I was getting some gains from the Turk, but I wanted to take it to like, a little bit next level. So like I said, I started taking it every single day for eight weeks. And I guess now this is where I'm gonna start telling you guys basically some of the side effects that I had while taking it. Whether it's good or bad, I'm gonna tell you exactly basically what happened. So one thing for sure is I did get a lot hungrier. I was taking my serving pretty much every day and then like an hour before my workout because I was told that it was like some sort of like pre-workout, like it could be used uh, to give you a good pump. So I took mine every single day at the same time one hour before my workout. Like I said, some of the side effects I would get was hunger. Hunger was a really bad one because I'm already a really hungry person. Um, so when I took that right before the gym and then after my workout, you can already tell. You already know like after your workout, you're gonna be super hungry. You're gonna be super dehydrated and all that. And then the MK like just made it really enhanced. So I was super hungry right after the gym. Uh, but other than that, throughout the day, I wasn't too hungry on MK. The only time was after my workout. So after my workout, I was like pretty much furiously hungry. I was really hungry really irritable as well like just because of the hunger so yeah that is one of the side effects i did have and the second one that i did notice was bloating uh, now i'm not saying to take it i'm not going to be like your doctor i'm not going to tell you i'm not going to like jump through the screen and tell you not to take it you know what you decide to do is what you decide to do so i'm not advising you guys to take this i'm just simply telling you what happened to me but yeah man i got super watery super bloated but that's okay because i was like optimized on strength so i wasn't really worrying about my physique at the time but i was getting freaking strong i really was now it's not going to make you like disgustingly watery but what i mean by that it's going to make you feel like a lot fuller and it makes you look a lot fuller as well like i literally just felt like i was a lot fuller i felt like i had a pump 
like every single time I took it before the gym. So I just felt good on it. I felt stronger. I was stronger. Uh, so I guess a third side effect I could say is that you get stronger and your physique just gets fuller and like more round. But yeah, that's literally all the side effects that I had on it. Oh, actually one more that I forgot is like when you're sleeping, you get really, really lucid dreams. I dream a lot when I fall asleep, but when I was sleeping on MK, it was like, it was like I was actually in the dream. It was actually crazy. It was actually super intense. If you have nightmares, I really don't recommend taking it. So it was fire, bro. It was like I was actually in the dream. Uh, some nights I'd actually even wake up like sweating. It was so intense. But that's not all the times. Usually you just have really solid dreams. But yeah, man, those four side effects, that's literally all I had. Some were good, some were bad. Uh, notably for me, it wasn't all that bad to be honest. I think the good outweighed the bad by far for me And I'm not gonna say that's gonna happen for you I'm just telling you guys my story and basically what happened to me I took MK for eight weeks and then after that you definitely want to cycle off of it So I was on it for eight weeks and then I decided to hop off of it for eight weeks And then right after I hopped off it for eight weeks, I was on it again for another eight weeks So I've done two full cycles of MK677. I don't really plan on doing it again, but if I do I'll definitely let you guys know. But yeah, there was a lot of good benefits. There was a lot of bad side effects as well. But but overall for me, it honestly was worth it. I wasn't crazy exposed to it. Like I said, I only took it for eight weeks and then I was off of it for eight weeks. So it's not like I was overexposing myself per se, but I do think I was on it for the right amount of time. But yeah, I got really, really strong off it, really big. And now basically to replace the MK677, I'm taking eight full caps of Turkestrone every day. And it's seeming to work really well. I'm not like losing any strength. I'm not really losing any size as well. So it's working amazing. It's doing really, really well. Like I said, if you guys want any turkesterone gorilla mine sells it you guys can use it code ty will save you some money on the turkesterone as well that is my story i'm not gonna like tell you guys to take it i'm not advising you guys to do anything but i'm just letting you guys know basically what happened to me so yeah anyway take from that what you will but if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like subscribe and press that post notification button so you do not miss another youtube video in the future i don't know why you guys would want to miss a youtube video i won't show up in your subscription box or anything like that but anyways hope you boys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video peace